Hello everyone and welcome. Breath of the Wild, like most Zelda games, had a lot of items, weapons, and more that went unused or were cut from the game. Hopefully, these will end up making their way back into Breath of the Wild too, because, let's be honest, they're just awesome. One item that Aonuma, Miyamoto, and Nintendo as a whole has spoken heavily on, and that we have covered a lot in the past, is the hookshot, or claw shot, stating that with the game's climbing mechanic, it made Link feel more like Spider-Man or a superhero and made even the hardest of challenges, or reaching the very top of mountains, shrines, or basically anywhere, incredibly easy. Instead of planning out a precise route to climb a mountain, having to sneak around or defeat enemies, you could just skip all of that and claw shot to the very top basically just made the game too easy. But they did hint that we could see it pop up in the future, so we are hoping it will return in Breath of the Wild too. For the question of the day, please comment below and let us know if you would like to see the double claw shot or any other specific classic Zelda item return in Breath of the Wild 2. Now for another item that Nintendo has seemingly never mentioned during interviews, unlocking the full power of the Sheikah Slate the Dragonfly. Think of it as an upgraded version of the Beetle from Skyward Sword, but with a camera and controlled by the Sheikah Slate. The Beetle was the dungeon item of the Skyview Temple, the first dungeon of Skyward Sword. It could be upgraded a few times to grab certain items, fly faster, or a further distance. The Dragonfly would be similar, but have more features and be more useful. For starters, it would make use of the camera on the Sheikah Slate to scout out certain areas, take photos, and possibly even more. Since it doesn't have the claw grips of one of the upgraded Beetle versions, perhaps it would use the existing tech of the Sheikah Slate. Instead of grips, maybe it could use the Magnesis to carry certain items, or magically pick up lightweight items. Maybe it could also use the bombs created by the Sheikah Slate. This wouldn't be the first time Nintendo has allowed us to mix items, such as bomb arrows of the past, and it would be an upgrade of how the beetle could pick up a bomb. This time, instead of having to pick up a bomb and drop it, perhaps it would automatically be able to generate and drop bombs, since the Sheikah Slate can generate them magically. If this would have been possible, it makes me wonder if this would shorten the amount of time or distance the dragonfly could fly. Why was this item removed from Breath of the Wild? Well, it's possible that Nintendo thought it would make the game too easy. Similar to the hookshot or claw shot. Like, instead of climbing to the top of a mountain to see what's up there, or keeping your distance from a camp of enemies. You could stay a distance away and just fly the dragonfly over to them to constantly drop bombs. Similar to standing on a cliff and doing the same to a camp of bokoblins beneath that have no way to reach you. I also think there is a real world reason for this. Nintendo stated they wanted to make the gamepad a central theme of Breath of the Wild. In fact, the Sheikah Slate was actually inspired by the Wii U gamepad. Nintendo has spoken about removing a lot of features that were inspired by the gamepad as a way to optimize it for the Switch as much as the Wii U. So instead of having the map always on the gamepad, removing the HUD from the screen to just the gamepad, or having a way better inventory management system, like the ones featured in Twilight Princess HD and Wind Waker HD on the Wii U, not to mention any of the other awesome features that could have been introduced, we get nothing. It's possible that when the Dragonfly was first thought of, it was meant to heavily incorporate the gamepad. The gamepad would show what the camera sees, while the big TV would show Link standing there looking at the screen. This way, you could still see if an enemy is near Link and cancel out before they attack. Honestly, who knows what it could be used for, or the different ideas Nintendo's unique and innovative team could have come up with. Personally, I kind of think it's sad that Nintendo decided to remove all of these amazing features and items, just because the game also came to the Switch. Just as how the Beetle could be controlled and used in Skyward Sword, the same could have been done with the Dragonfly. It's not something that requires two screens. We don't necessarily need one focused on Link and one showing the camera. Also, for those interested, the Beetle in Skyward Sword was, originally, a rocket fist that would simply grab stuff. Let us know, what do you think of the Dragonfly? Do you wish it would have been in Breath of the Wild? Should it return for Breath of the Wild too?
with some of the other uses for the Sheikah Slate that were cancelled or removed from Breath of the Wild, which we will be discussing in a future video, one of which being the Sheikah Slate rings, or wristbands. And if you would like to help support us here on the Game Over Jesse channel, please head over to patreon.com slash gameoverjesse, where a lot of amazing bonuses and perks can be found. We also have new Game Over Jesse and Highland Gamescast shirts available. You can join our Discord to talk to all of us whenever you would like. And if you buy a shirt, send us a picture, we will be more than happy to give you a shout out and show off your picture at the end of our videos just like this. And as always, thank you for watching.